What's going on everyone? Thanks for tuning in once again to the 1010 Studios XAirQ and X32Q app. And we're going to be talking more so about the DCA or MCA groups basically. If you haven't seen the original video for the overview of how to set it up and what to look out for, please check that video out. We greatly appreciate that and let us know what you think. Give some comments below and some feedback for any helpful other tips and tricks you can share with the group. And for this one, do the same thing after it's all over, all said and done. We want to make sure that we share best practices and anything that can be helpful for anyone who might need it. So with the X Air Q, we're going to work with that one. And keep in mind, these two apps are very similar in the way it looks and the way it operates. They do basically the same exact things, just in slightly different visual ways for the X32Q app. Now, everything we talk about here, you can also use on the X32Q app. Now, presuming that you already set up, you're connected to your X-Air 18 device and you got things laid out, labels and all that other fun stuff. When you come into the app and you go to this area, these are what's called MCA groups, which this way you can group a number of channels, a number of inputs in one fader. So you don't have to keep mixing every individual channel coming in for your likeness. So if you need to raise the volume for three or four channels at a time, you don't have to go to one, sorry, you don't, you don't have to go to all three channels. You just go to the one MCA group that is controlling all of those channels as one master fader for that group. So when you're here, click on the first bank on the left and you'll see nothing has been selected so far. You'll see the names of the inputs that are already set up. And let's just say we wanna choose the Shures as the two wireless mics for lead mics, basically. And then you choose on the second group, which is on the lower side there. And let's say you choose the background vocals. Uh, third group, let's just say we want to choose the keys, sax, guitar. And on the fourth group, let's just say we want to put in the drums there as its own group. And we're pretty much done there. Now you see there's other devices or other uh, pieces in here. You can choose as many as you need to for the group. You don't have to choose just one or two. You can choose as much as you like for a group, okay? Once that's set, uh, if you double tap or tap again on those particular faders, uh, sorry, the MCAs on the bottom, you'll see it go to the MCA faders as a group. So these are the group faders as it's set up, whatever the input you chose. And you make the necessary adjustments for it. And if you need to see the master for that for your in you can just swipe to the right and you'll see your master fader wherever it might be and your input level coming into that particular channel for you. Now, even if the volume might look low here, it may not be as low in your ear. You can always change your volume on your inner monitor according to your taste. Now, when you go into landscape mode, you're going to see the individual channels. So this right here is for the groups in more of an individual manner. So let's just say, you know, mic number one is okay, but mic number two is a little bit low. You wanna raise that mic up inside the group, you can do so. It doesn't affect anything else, it just affects that one particular channel. Makes sense, because it's an individual fader. Same thing with your other instruments or your other inputs. You raise it and, and lower it according to your liking, basically. And if you need to have some of the main mix in your ear, you can do so also. You just gotta basically adjust it according to your liking. Now, this is very helpful when you have a lot of inputs because simply you don't want to have to worry about, you know, managing all of these inputs for your show or for your event. You want to be able to just manage maybe two, maybe three of them compared to seven to 12, give or take, depending upon how busy or how complicated your setup is. Now, this particular setup is very basic, very straightforward. It's really based upon your liking. You have to customize it to your liking whenever needed. So hopefully this was helpful. It's really short and to the point. We don't want to make it too long and drawn out because it is very easy to operate, as you can see. Once you get it set up to the way you like, you'll know what to do the next few times that you have to do the same type of setup. So just want to make sure you guys have a good manner of hearing and seeing what you can do with this kind of application. So until next time, stay tuned, stay blessed. Make sure you leave some comments below to help the next uh, person out who might be seeing this. Give some of your own tips and tricks that you found to work well for you and your group or your band. And make sure that you stay blessed.